Hello and thank you for pressing play on my video. My name is Evan Bishop of Worldly Migration, MAN 1679414, and I'm an employer-sponsored visa specialist in my capacity as a registered migration agent. What I do is I help employers to be able to retain their existing staff members who are migrants, or to be able to source and employ staff from overseas to come out to Australia. The vessel that someone can stay in Australia on a visa is what's called the employer-sponsored visa itself. And there's two parties. There's the employer, yourself, who's going to be able to retain the staff member and the migrant worker themselves. I come from Melbourne, and hence I've got the little uh, tram lapel pin proudly on me. But sometimes if I wish I was from somewhere a bit sunnier and drier, I have this palm tree pin here. So although from Melbourne, I help employers from all around Australia. And um, it doesn't matter where you hail from because everything is very remote these days. And in terms of the migrants, I don't really have a particular country that I deal with, I deal with people from all around the world of all passports. So um, lots of people, lots of different time zones, and that's just what I specialize in. So I'm here to talk to you today about why you, like the pros and cons of being able to sponsor a migrant staff member in your business. So it's not for everyone, and gone the days given costs involved and processing times where you would just sponsor someone in your business because they're a good person and you'd like to help them out, it's a smart business decision, but one that you might have been um, contemplating, is this something you want to learn more about, or you've heard about this sort of process, I'm gonna give two pros, two cons, and it's some key takeaways for you today. So the first one is that a big pro, you might be sponsoring someone to work in your business full time that you may not have found elsewhere. So this is someone, and they could be um, in Australia, but they just don't have um, permanent options to be in Australia in the country, and they've got borrow time, needing to leave. They could be the best staff member you've had in years in that particular role, but their visa expires in six months and they're gonna be finishing up with you. So employer-sponsored visas can retain your existing staff members to stay with you for either two or four years, depending on the occupation and the visa type. And that's the, the huge pro. Or they could be someone from overseas and you're gonna bring them into Australia. They could have different skill competencies, maybe technical skills and machineries, which are very much taught overseas. And I've got hundreds of examples of um, countries which are a bit more advanced in different areas than Australia. Um, you might be retain them in your business or source them to come to the country. So, or it could just be because you really struggle to find Aussies who are willing to stick around and work hard in your business as an employee for the long term, as opposed to a contractor with that flexibility that you wake up tomorrow and they're no longer working with you. A con though is the cost. So the cost is about $3,000 bare minimum for a two year visa for a small business and you're not getting any representation from someone like myself to help. So you're usually looking at around seven grand for the process itself. However, for big businesses and big is defined as a threshold of 10 million turnover per financial year, for big businesses, you're looking at closer to ten, eleven thousand dollars to go through the whole process. So, I can counter that though somewhat by having your mindset think, okay, look, big cost, but I've got someone in my business for several years, and they're going to be able to stick around and work hard for me. So, think about the recruitment costs you go through and the the training costs, opportunity costs as well. Where you hire someone in your business, they're great for four weeks, they start to be lazy, start to show up late, start to um, pinch your clients and they're out the door. And then a few months later, you have to hire someone else. Think of those recruitment costs. Think of those, like I said, training opportunity costs as well. So that's the a con, is the cost involved. But I can flip it around by saying another pro is that you've got that person locked in your business for several years. That person, once they're on their employer sponsored visa, they have to work like a, a visa condition which restricts them to working for your business in that role that you nominate them for. They can't be doing Uber Eats driving and, and taxi driving and working in the supermarket on weekends and stuff like that. They can only be working full time for yourself. And if they were to go and work for a competitor, they can only work for someone else if they have their entire nomination process, the whole business stage approved with someone else before they can start working for them. So. Employees are very um, unlikely as skilled migrants working in your business to just you know wake up one day and stop working for you. They have to go through this whole process of a business wanting to spend you know close to ten thousand dollars sometimes to sponsor them, but it's unskilled labor because they can't see them starting to work because they're working for you, and that's a fantastic pro in that regards. 
The last con, however, I want to go through today is the set of four, is that getting people here can be quite a lengthy process in terms of processing times. We've seen this balloon out when the pandemic started and in a good way, um, they've got a priority list now. It's currently 44 occupations as of, um, you know, it's been like that for months now, but time of recording this is January, 2022. 44 occupations, which are priority, they're gonna get processed within, I'm seeing a few days to about a week and a half, but we're talking engineers, um, we're talking pharmacists and nurses, doctors, um, these occupations which can aid in Australia's recovery from the pandemic. But unfor like fortunate for them, unfortunate for everyone else that it's made processing times balloon out for other occupations. Some which can be going out to close to 12 months at the moment at time of recording this. So um, if someone is in Australia, then you lodge their new visa so that they can gain what's called a bridging visa. And it's as it sounds, it bridges their time in Australia till a decision is made on that new visa. So they carry over past visa conditions, but they're a student visa. They're no longer studying, so it's okay. They can work for you. A graduate visa, so someone is here to get work experience, that's great news. They can keep working for you because they've got full-time work rights. But if you're looking at bringing someone from overseas to Australia, it's very much segmented into different occupations lists. Some of them you could get someone out practically within a month and a half, but for other occupations, it could be closer to a year. So that's a big con as well if someone is overseas. If someone's in Australia and you know whether, you, whether someone's in Australia or not, you wanna work with someone like myself, a registered migration agent or an immigration lawyer, and they specialize in employer-sponsored visas. So I'm a small business owner myself. I love networking. I'm very much a referral-based business and I've helped so many business owners over the years. And my background was in recruitment originally. So 10 years ago, I started as a recruiter and now in migration, I see that some people have gaps in their business and you can fill those gaps sometimes with the right person. But sometimes that right person just wasn't born in Australia but that person potentially was born to work for your business. So I don't want people being too tunnel-minded to it. Hopefully you take away today that there are options for employer-sponsored visas. Yeah, it's expensive. Yeah, it can take a while, but think of those pros. That you've got someone in your business for several years dedicated to your business and not dedicated to be able to just wake up tomorrow and start working, out, working elsewhere. So. My name is Evan Bishop again of World in Migration, MAN registration 1679414. I'm an employer sponsored visa specialist and look free consultations to employers. I've got a booking link on my website. We lock in a time together. You can invite your prospective or your current employee to join as well. Um, all teleconference, screen share with you, go for everything. I look forward to hearing from you and I look forward to talking to you. Thank you for watching.